Quran is uh, disconnected from Muhammad, so no one is violating anything. However, the moral of the story is that that is Allah's prophet. He does whatever he wants. And by that, we Abbasids, being his grandsons, should have the same privileges. Here in the Arab countries, I as an Arab telling you this, we love these hadith because they show that the Prophet was an invincible when it comes to sexual power. It is simply a primitive man-made hadith written by uh, horny and sexually weak people to convince women, a female audience, to have more perverted sex. This is just the idea. And this doesn't need a genius to, to, make, to figure this out.